it's a credit to those guys first and foremost because those are the guys that have put on the hard work and those are the guys when everybody was telling them they should probably get a real job and they should pursue a career path that's you know more than norm those guys stuck with their guns and stuck with um, what they wanted to do they stuck with their dream basically and they went and did it and now they've accomplished it um, or they've accomplished the first part of it because once you get in the UFC the dream continues the hard work continues so it's a credit to those guys first and foremost and a credit to the local scene because the local scene is what those guys came through to get where they are now beautiful stand up beautiful stand up that's it pull them out Did you see that technical stand up? Did you see it, Brent? Oh. 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 Under the heat, too. Chef. Me and Kai and Shane are just running through a bit of an MMA session with the Auckland Blues. They're a professional rugby team, full time professional athletes, and we're just going to run them through like an MMA type style session. They're in their pre season at the moment. So we're just going to show them a few moves and then let them grind on each other a bit and just get a bit of a workout in, just as kind of cross training for rugby. Okay, and how much percentage of it do you want to be like working hard and how much do you want me to show them technique, like half and uh, half? Yeah, or? half and half will be half good. Half and half? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't so have to be the whole hour where they smash to me, bro. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, they've they've already, whatever they've you want. A bit of, bit of hard work, yeah, they've already Good trained. guys. Yeah. Okay, watch this. This is Kai, by the way, and Shane. They're fighting in the UFC in like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> they volunteered their time to come and help me, they, uh, they enjoy rugby as well. They're both, the reason they don't play rugby is because they're midgets, so they had to, <laughs> had to do something else. But they, one of them's gonna escape from the bottom and put an underhook in and get up. You have to know this, okay? So just watch carefully. One will be on the bottom with the other person in side control. Yeah, keep your head on the inside and come up to your knees, grab that knee, drive him over. Yeah, now give him a go. Yeah. Same thing, up, bottom, top, he gets up, he pushes Shane's head, really move to make separation, then he starts pushing the head. Yeah, he got a, he got a hustle. <laughs> hey? He got to hustle because the guy's not going to let you up. He's going to lock onto those legs straight away and then you got to go. Good technical, but this can blow out now. Yeah. We love this stuff. <laughs> There we go. Hold it on. Hold it wide. Stop wide. Good recovery. Yeah, you good moves. You got it. You got it. Pull, 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 pull him out. Pull him out. Ay, ay, ay. If you're not doing anything, make sure you're talking to them. Talk to them. Pretty blown, eh? It's pretty hard work like running around on the ground and stuff, so heaps of fun though. Keep it up for Hopefully we can transfer it to our footy. Keep up the intensity! These guys have got real talent. Like they used to, you know, picking up the ball, they go for a run, trying to get a try. Maybe some future UFC stars in this room, you know? They can make the crossover. I've seen a few NFL players, you know, go from American football to UFC. These guys have definitely got the size, so heavyweight to heavyweight rugby star to heavyweight UFC star could be in the making. To see them utilize the techniques that we just showed them. So we showed them a few things, like say four techniques that kind of linked in together. Talking about getting taken down and then defending the takedown and then getting up off your back or getting them back on their back. So they were Basically playing that game of chess that fighting is with just those four moves. Any form of movement can be used for any sport if it gets your like the right brain or neuron pathways, say firing. Just get you thinking, using your body in like a new way. Because like, even though rugby is just like a set rule set, you're running like this, like 
at the same time, it's you do all sorts of moves, so you got to kind of be durable and ready to do anything. Thank you for coming and uh, using the gym. It's a pleasure to train guys for us that just come in and work hard because they're few and far between, especially with young people. They don't want to work hard. You guys obviously want to work hard, have a good work ethic. Um, uh, and, and, and obviously all the best for the season. I know Kaiser Mag's guy. Yeah. I don't know if there's any. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm, a mess, I'm a messy guy. I saw some guys from Messi around here. Okay, and and that uh, shame went to do with, so I don't know about what. Yeah, okay, but but um, thank you very much, guys. We have a, we have a, we have a, we have a lot of respect for uh, what you guys do, and all the only advice that we can give you, or that we what we do in this gym, is, and uh, we do it. We're a little bit harsh, or I'm a little bit harsh sometimes, but we just created a winning environment. Like we we never talk about losing, and to be honest, if you lose, you get a little bit. We, we, we give it to you if you lose. We just created a culture of winning and we don't accept losing. When someone losing, the boys give them a lot of stick because you shouldn't be celebrated if you lose. You're a loser and that's the way. So we, we only accept winning. If you win a fight, we have a rule. Like you're allowed to like go, if you win, you're allowed to go out, have a party, you know, drink and you know, you get a week off to pretend you're the man, get around town, blah, blah, blah. But if you lose on Saturday night, you'll fucking have to get back in here on Monday morning. You don't get any of that. So we've just created that culture. I think that's part of our success. We're definitely part of our success. And maybe if you, if you have that attitude, you can go all the way. All the best for the season. Thank you for Kai and Shane for coming. Thank you very much.